Hey boys, welcome to Mass Games. My name is Simon. This is Camisado by Hooch and designed by Peter Burley. I first saw this game as a two-player abstract strategy game at, I think, Essen in 2018-2019, but also it was at the UK Games Expo 2021. I think I've seen it mentioned on a number of top 10 lists for basically abstract strategy games. And as you can see, I'm filming this one-handed. Uh, this is not my copy, and I do not have the tripod with me. And to be honest, I've filmed a few videos one-handed and it's been pretty effective. Now, by all means, just whilst I'm sloping this up, please hit that like button. Please hit the subscribe with notification bell as well, if you haven't already. And also as well, check out the rest of the playlists for Abstract Strategies, as well as for two-player games. And finally, for family weight games, this all fits into those categories. Lastly, check out the comments. By all means, I do reply quickly. And finally, the description. And then any other questions, by all means, do let me know and I'll see if I can get back to you. So this is a game involving, uh, basically it's kind of a cross between, as they say, drafts and chess. And what we're going to be doing is laying out this board. I'm only going to be showing you the basic version of the game today, but there is a, a more advanced variant. And my rating will be based on this basic version of the game, just to give you a bit of a background into what it's about. So in this game, black will start and you're going to have a board. It's double sided. And we're not going to be using the kanji side. We're using the other side here. And I said black starts, so you've got white dragons down here, black dragons over on this side. And as I said, we won't be playing on that side of the board. So the aim of the game is to get one of your pieces to the other side of the game board, and therefore you win. So there's white at the top, uh, black on the bottom, and you're going to be placing out these dragon-like castle things on the respective colour of what they are. So here we have, obviously, orange goes on orange, etc. And you're going to take turns, basically taking an opportunity to move. And if you cannot move, the opponent gets to move again. If no one can move, that last player to basically cause the obstruction loses the game, which makes a lot of sense. So we have lavender, we have purple, lovely pieces here, just like the company that makes uh, the GIF series of games. Uh, very impressive, uh, very nice pieces. And as you can see, because I'm still setting this game up, as I always like to do a setup as well, it allows you to see how it goes. So again... Black will start. I haven't done a playthrough video, I might do that as well. So let's say we have pink. They can move as far as they like. So I can get all over here. I could go here. I could go here. And wherever I land, so let's do here. Now it has to be white that moves. So white is now going to have to move wherever I land on. So I land on blue. So blue up here has to move. So I might move here. And then I have to move my orange piece. And I might move it here. And then suddenly orange moves again. Maybe they do purple. Now I move my purple and I maybe move it to let's say here and now or let's say I move it to there now blue's turn blue does this suddenly I cannot go so now brown moves a second time so this time it does have a brown piece so that moves over say to here and now it's my brown I still can't go so very interestingly how somehow it's very cleverly done in terms of these alignments so brown can't move it's uh, now brown turn again and brown wins the game so brown won the game because it couldn't go so it's very interesting you're trying to line things up but what you'll notice is if I'm, say, red, then there's no other places for red. So you can't necessarily do back-to-back -back turns. But in this case, there is like a red over here. It's quite tricky to necessarily pre-plan because there's no kind of like numbering as to what you're doing, as to where you want something to go. But very impressed with this game. Just on the basic mode, I give this game a 7 out of 10. I found it very, very interesting. Um, crunchy. Very quick sometimes. Maybe two, three minutes a game. Maybe 10 as you start to improve and do things like that. Um, but yeah, it's a very thinky game because you can remember if I land here, then I have to move that piece. But if that piece goes here, then this can't get in because suddenly I want this piece to move and land on a pink. As you can see, there's no other pinks for it to land on. And they can't land on this one. So I can't then suddenly do a double move. So I might have to do that. And then I need to now move my green and then maybe move, uh, I don't know, let's say to here, which means this purple does move. But then again, there's still no pink for it to land on because it can't go sideways. So it's going to go here. And now I move my orange piece. In fact, I have an orange piece here, so I can win. So that instance, that would have worked. So that is Camisado. Uh, very interesting. Like I so said, this is the basic version. I may well do a playthrough as well as obviously the full rules with all the other things you can be involved in this game. But that alone is a fantastic uh, intro to trying out, you know, a bit of an abstract strategy game with obviously very simple rules, but a really crunchiness going on as well. Uh, there are two or three versions of the game. There's like a pocket version as well. 
and I don't think it's online. I don't know if there's an online version. I know a chap who uh, helped me to recall what the title of this game was. He, uh, yeah, he said, oh, yeah, it'd be great. Maybe if there is an online version. But as I said, you have obviously the rules here. And they can go into more detailed stuff as well. So you can really alternate things up. And it's very small text. I don't think it needs to be small text. It does say he, uh, the black starts and he does something, which I think is a shame they didn't just say, you know, they start and do whatever they need. That's obviously the French rules. Do you need them? And uh, here are some other things that you could be familiar with, uh, which I haven't actually had to worry about. The German rules as well. So that has been Camisado. I found it really interesting. Lovely box by Hutch. Uh, nice kind of grip to it as well and uh if you have any questions please let me know and yeah look forward to perhaps doing more of the same so that has been cami sado